Receivers with great hands will make those catches, but most of the time a running back is going to drop that ball. The punt to Peyton Fish inside the 30. He eludes one tackler and he's on the go. Across midfield, caught from behind at the 45 of Mississippi State. Fish. Get those referees a roster down there. <laughs> Bulldogs with first down. They give on the delay, but being hit in the backfield and dropped is Dixon. Nowhere. Mississippi State under center is the quarterback hitting. He's back to pass. Here's pressure. They find Burks, but it's intercepted again. Chris Houston, and he'll have nothing but green as he's across midfield. No one will get close. And Hennig makes the mistake across the middle, and Houston scores the first points of the day for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Well, you've got man-to-man -man coverage. Rooney White was the receiver you're trying to hit. That's Tony Burks. It's underthrown and behind the receiver. But Houston, great coverage. He's in position, and once he caught the football, no one in Maroon and White even close to the play and close enough to uh, to get there and try to make a tackle. Looked good the last several weeks for the Bulldogs. A little off on his passing today. And there's an inside handoff to Williams. Nowhere to go for him. First quarter here today. 16 yards on the reception. They'll give it up the middle this time. And Dixon breaks through. He's across midfield. I don't know if anybody will catch him. He's inside the 10. Put six on the board for the Bulldogs. Touchdown for Anthony Dixon. That's exactly what you wanted for if you're 25 is going to catch it and have a chance for a big, big play. Well, the Bulldogs will kick it short, but they get it to McFadden back around the 7. He comes up to the 20, and he's off to the races. We were just talking about it. McFadden and Jones, they are mighty good, and McFadden shows it there. From the 7-yard line to the end zone, 93 yards for Darren McFadden. My goodness, they answer in a hurry. My goodness, the speed. I don't know what they claim that McFadden runs in the 40, but it is fast. He takes three steps in his full speed. Nice blocking. No one going to catch him. And your kicker, Carlson, is the only one left, and he's not going to run down number five. What a return. What a way to answer. When you're down, so you don't have to give it back to Mississippi State. Dick rolls to his right, looks down, and it's going to be intercepted. And coming down with the ball for Mississippi State and giving them possession offensively. That's points out of this possession. Third down and 12 now, deep in Arkansas territory. Hennig looks for Burks. Touchdown! Put six on the board for the Bulldogs. He split the defenders there, Matt. What a nice pass. Absolutely perfect for college football, and we got a great game to be watching. There's the kickoff, and it's going to be taken at the three-yard line. Coming up with it is Jones. He breaks to the outside. He's across the 40. Another big return for the Razorbacks. The ball's on the ground. Let's see if they're going to say it was down. They do. Get there, get your hands on them, bring them to the foot, bring the football carrier to the ground. Second down. Dick rolls out, looks across the middle, and he's got Marcus Monk for his first reception of the day. Monk has been quiet attempt. Jeremy Davis, six out of nine on the year, as long has been 44. The kick is up, and it is no good. Wide left, a good defensive stand. Arkansas in the eye formation. Dick looks at a four-man front, straight back to pass, not a lot of pressure, looks for the corner of the end zone. He has a receiver there, it's caught, and it's a touchdown. The freshman, Damian Williams from Springdale, Arkansas, he's the third of that tri Outside, it forces Derek Pegues to have to turn and try to get to the ball as he's got inside coverage. The ball is thrown outside, and he just basically goes up and out, jumps the corner. These two, number seven and number four, are becoming an exciting matchup, an exciting duo here for Mississippi State's offense. There's a handoff to Dixon, and he looks like he's going to lose a yard on the play. Petrus is the up back in the I formation, and they're going to drop back to pass as Dick, and he finds his receiver, Marcus Monk, over near the sideline. Their inability to be able to hand it off and make yards. Wildcat formation, McFadden rolls back to pass, looks downfield, and that ball, was it caught? It was caught by Marcus wow. Monk. Darren McFadden under all kinds of pressure. McFadden covered, I mean, make that Monk. Picked off. Instead, it's a big play out across the 50. 
And now they'll go to the run game once again and breaking out into the open field. Darren McFadden, that's his best rush of the ball game. Keith Fitzhugh makes the lead and get out of here with a SEC Western Division title. McFadden now 18 carries, 43 yards. They're going to run the double reverse and looking downfield. They're looking for Monk. He's there. Touchdown for the Razorbacks. What a play. What a play call. An execution and perfect throw. That ball was in the air for a long, long McFadden give to Felix, pitch back to Casey Dick, the quarterback who sets his feet, turns, perfect throw. Couldn't walk out there and hand it any better to number 85, Marcus Monk. A little razzle-dazzle, and uh, it works. You know, you practice those kinds of plays uh, to get number when he went down with that collarbone injury in the first quarter of the first game of the season. And they run the Utah pass again, but boy, was it smelled out there. Coming up and making the stop, the middle linebacker, Weston Dacus, he was waiting on Justin Williams on that play. Well, Justin Williams, welcome to the SEC. <laughs> Catch the football Boom. turn, and hello, Boom. number 30. The Bulldogs are going to go for it on fourth and four. They use motion with a tight end. Connor. Throws the slant in and out of the hands of Jamail Smith, Darius Vanette on the defense. And the line is done today. They really have outplayed themselves. There we go on the draw. McFadden's going to get it. And coming up and getting around the corner for first down yardage. And up near the 30 is McFadden. And they blocked that play well. Senior leadership and the, the amount of seniors and juniors that are playing on the field for Arkansas. And there goes McFadden up the middle across midfield. Stopped by Fitzhugh, but not. Not until he gets that tells the story of the day. Ten more yards on this drive rushing than they've had all day long. And there Jones gets around the corner, down to the 10, and stopped by Fitzhugh. But boy, he had an opening there. That speed of Felix Jones some time on. And whether they get points or not here, they accomplish their goal and they don't get points as it's blocked. I believe it was big. Uh, but it's canceled out because uh, you wasted the time earlier. Exactly. Connor under pressure, looks, and it's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Houston decides to bring it out as well, and he's got some room. Houston fumbles the ball, but Arkansas recovers at the 39. Well, the one, but Arkansas wins it and goes on to win the West. 28-14 to 14 over the Mississippi State Bulldogs. From Scott Field in Starkville, so long for CF.